I'm Stephanie McLean. And hi, I'm the Real Life Mannequin, also known as Braylon Brooks. So Mr. Real Life Mannequin, what exactly do you do? Like you act like a mannequin all day long? Yeah, well, I mean, what can I say? <laughs> it looks no, like a I, mannequin. No, I, uh, I'm a style fashion travel blogger, so nice. I create uh, digital and visual editorial content for luxury boutique brands uh, nice. internationally. So that's what I do on my platform. So I cover a lot of different things, whether from like uh, luxury lifestyle, like hotels, fashion, uh, food, things okay. like that, that uh, my audience is very in tuned in and they got the things that they like. Nice. So what's the most exciting place that you've been to? Ooh, you know what? I like Paris, but I'm like, like I only like Paris. That's in like so fashiony, though. I feel like that's a standard it's fashion. It's like a cliche. Like the standard you know fashion. I, I like Paris, New York, Milan. I, I love like, Paris. Really? I love Paris only because it's like when I go to Paris, I uh -huh. always have like, like a fantasy like thing that happens. And but what I love Milan too. <laughs> Because when I go to Paris, I don't have any fancy things no, happening. No, I love, I love Milan. Is, look, I would say Milan and Paris. Okay, got you. Ma, uh, Paris first, then Milan. You're getting Milan's. an F for originality. <laughs> Paris first, Milan second. Okay, got you. Really? Okay, yeah. Okay. Then Amsterdam. Okay. I have, gotcha. I have a, I, it's hard, you know, but I just say Paris because some of the biggest dreams of my rea came to reality in Paris. So I have like to say Paris. Part. Just like you know, being signed with the modeling agency there, nice. few years, like in 2015, and um, just actually like applying my business tactics and actually getting them to work. Like Paris was like my guinea pig for okay. you know collaborating with like the luxury brand, the luxury hotels that I reached out to you know, right. to create content for. So Paris is just like, and I like Paris for the simple fact that they're about collaborating and being together and really wanting to like be in the know, in the mix right. of what's going on. And they're all about social media influencing. So I like that because the French people are with it. Right, <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. And then Milan? I like Milan because, of course, the Mata uh, the, the, I said Mataliot. The <laughs> they're no, they're like never going to allow you back into Milan after. <laughs> you I said you prefer the French, first no. of all. You're like, you just have, know you're I'll never going back reason. to Milan. I'll tell you my reason The after. Italians are going to be like, no, sure. <laughs> so, the reason why, okay, I like Milan because the, the Italians are very creative. They and are. They, and they, cute. And very, you know, and the uh, romantic. And so good. Yeah, and the food is great. And I feel like the French are more romantic. The Italians yeah, the, are the, more cute. The yeah, the, the Italians are They're more like, rough. Like, like, <laughs> what type of experience are you having? Like, I'm not no. having these travel experiences. No, but it's true. But the Italians are about to, I need to go to Milan with you. <laughs> the Italians are about collaborating as well. <clears throat> and they're just really creative. So I like that. When you go to Milan, it's like not, it's really good. It's like for the fashion capitals. When you get there, it's not as like chic as Paris, but it's still like you feel like a part of it. It's like much more like real. And you he know? just said they're not as chic as Paris. You're never going back to Italy, <laughs> just so you know this. It's true. So, <laughs> I say facts. So I don't know about that. <laughs> just so you know, what are those disclaimers, people? But I do not stand by the views I expressed you, by Milan. Mr. Mannequin. Do not reflect <laughs> my view oh, or our brand's views. I love so Milan. I, have to I say. absolutely love Milan. Mm -hmm. That's what she's saying. Now. Yes, I love Paris too. <laughs> Okay, just a little bit more. Okay. Look at you all show off. Yeah. <laughs> nice. gotta, you gotta know the language you're gonna be there. Uh, oh, mm. <laughs> no you're comments. So funny, okay. No comments at all. So, like, how did you get into all this? Did you just like move to LA and you're like, okay, you're gonna well, start doing this whole fashion thing? Because a lot of people think about it and they see other people doing it, but how did you actually like? make it your bread and butter and kind of well, make your life. It actually, well, you know, I, okay, well, when I first moved to California, I lived in San Diego first. Okay. And I was still going through the motions of trying to figure out what exactly what I wanted to do. You're trying I, to find I, yourself? I'm gonna, yeah. Well, okay. I already, I, no, I knew who I was. Okay, However, gotcha. I was, I had many different talents. Like I could dance my ass off. Uh -huh. I can, you know, I'm very creative when it comes to this photography and things. Program. So I'm very stylish. <laughs> you know, I can do a lot of different things. So it was okay. just, and I knew I wanted to be on television. I knew I wanted to do something with television. So. I was working at Aldo Shoes in uh, San Diego because I lived in San Diego for eight months before I moved to LA. Okay. And, uh, I knew the guy who was a manager at Aldo. Oh, really? One time. Okay. I went on two dates. It was like the love of my life. Okay, okay. so I'm trying to. Dates. Okay, so I'm trying to make it like. Trying to bond over Aldo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hated Aldo, so there's no bond in you. Okay, and Aldo will never endorse no, us now. Thank I you. <laughs> which is so funny because You're they... You're so great for which branding. Is, no, which is so, so the funny. Italians are like, no more. No, which Aldo's is so... like, no more. No, which is so funny about Aldo is and because... Now Craig no, Barrow will probably never come back once again. <laughs> no, because the interesting part about Aldo is, is okay. that they actually <clears throat> fired me. And then a year later, after I started doing the whole, like, blogging, they actually took my photo and posted it on their 
Instagram account and Facebook Did and Twitter. Did you call your lawyer? <clears throat> no, I didn't because they, but it was so interesting how like, they Aldo fired me. Yeah, and then probably it's like, your seed money. Yeah, but anyway. How long ago is that? You might have some time still. Is that for limitations? Might that, was time. that was like so long ago. I don't but know, anyway, you might have like I seven was, years or something. Get on that. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to try to finish now. No. Okay. So, um, I won't interrupt I was you working, anymore, No, it's okay. <laughs> So I was working in uh, Aldo and an actress came in and she was like, you know, you should, I never thought about styling anyone or I just okay. always thought about like, I like fashion, I love style, I want to, you know, I, I don't care to style anyone else. Right. But she was like, have you ever thought about styling people? And I was like, no. She's like, do you ever want to? And I was like, no. <laughs> she was like, but you should, you can make a lot of money doing that. And I was like. That's how people lorry into everything. It's like, oh, you can make a lot yeah, of money. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, well, maybe I should. So uh, she reached out to me and she said, that she gave took my information mm -hmm. and she was like, you know, hey, I work on TV pilots all the time in LA. She was like, I'll call you when I have an opportunity. Three months later, she called me. She was working on a pilot with Miguel Nunez, which was like the guy who played in Juana Man in like the movie Life. He's okay. like, a, so I went there and I, I who worked is, as okay. a, a design assistant for this designer who was like doing a wardrobe on this particular pilot. And after that, you know, I went back to San Diego, I lost my job at Aldo, I lost my job at Smashball, and then it's just like, I was like in the trance. I had a little bit of money to move to LA with what I had, and I like, went through the motions and stuff. There's nothing like that struggle of brilliance, though. It's like sometimes when yeah. your back's against the wall, the best idea is... It's just to go. Just, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I kind of did, and I just kind of like planted myself in LA, and I just went through the motions. I was notorious, and my group of friends were crashing red carpet events. I, short story after that, I met a lady who was the founder of this new media outlet called Sister Art TV, met her. She wanted to do like this fashion red carpet entertainment scene. I started doing that, interview, they started interviewing celebrities on the red carpet. The celebrities were always complimenting me what I was saying, what I was wearing. So we created my reel to show that like, oh, Paris Hilton likes what he's wearing or uh, French Montana is saying like, oh, I like your style. So right. we pitched that to brands to get sponsored for different things that I wore on the red carpet. So it was like a marketing tool, a marketing asset right. to do that. And um, so, and then the, in the comments on the YouTube videos, they would always be like, hey, like, what are you wearing? Like, you know, we really want to, like, you should start a blog and things. So I thought about it and I was like, hey, I'm going to call it the Real Life Mannequin. Because working at Aldo, I would stand still for a very long time and people would, I would move, people were like, oh my God, we thought you were a mannequin. You look like a mannequin. <laughs> so when people were saying like, uh, you know, you should start a blog, it was like organic, the name organically came to me. I was like, oh, uh, the Real Life Mannequin. Okay, because people you. actually thought I was a, a real mannequin, life, a mannequin when I worked at Aldo really selling shoes. So it was perfect. That's cute. So I thought about it and I was always sharing photos in a really unique way on my Instagram. So it was only right that it was like a natural transition into going into creating the platform. Whoa. So Nice. Yeah. So in all your travels, what has been your favorite food? Ooh. You know, I was in Bloemendaal Beach in Holland. Okay, uh, gotcha. the Netherlands. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say something in France or just Italy again. And I was like, yeah, no, I was never in, getting invited to I was in Bloemendaal. Uh -huh. I think it's called Bloemendaal Beach in in the Netherlands. It's like a, a few moments outside of Amsterdam. And um, I had this kebab with like peanut sauce and like a salad, and it was so good. And I was like, oh my yeah. gosh. And that really, I think about it from time to time actually, and I'm like, I really want that. Kebab wow. with the peanut sauce and like it was just like really good and it's like it was amazing. But nice. I love Amsterdam. They have a lot of really good, interesting food in Amsterdam as well as Milan too. Nice. <laughs> what can you cook? Well, I can cook every. I'm from the south. I grew up right. between Dallas and like Atlanta. Like chitlins and. <clears throat> well, I don't, I don't really cook chitlins because <laughs> I, I can cook collard greens, can sweet can water greens? cornbread, hot water cornbread, homemade macaroni and Those cheese. Are different type of cornbread. Oh, oh yes. Sweet water cornbread. Sweet water corn. Uh, Did you just like shade eye me? Listen. <laughs> okay. I just. Sweet water, <laughs> sweet water cornbread is basically like you instead of milk, it's hot water and it's sugar. Too. Do a cash boo, <laughs> nice. I am the cat. Can it. you clean though? I don't. Know. I can clean. Really? Like, I don't like, prefer to, but like I do. marry me table. So I, I make the perfect housewife. Really? Yeah, nice. I can clean a good tub. I can clean the hell out of nice. a bathroom. Anybody single looking for a? <laughs> no, I am not for sale. <laughs> looking for a high maintenance housewife, house husband. <laughs> <laughs> Real life mannequin. Check it out.